So this is another product that I've been sent this week. This actually came yesterday. I had it out of the box just to have a little look uh, to see exactly what it was. And this is gonna make for a fun video, guys. So he's the wrong way round. I'll get him out anyway. And I'll turn him the right way. There we go, you can see. It's a vintage turntable, guys. This is what we've got for review. Check it out. So this is a vintage turntable. It's got a three speed setting, a 3.5 millimeter earphone jack and a 3.5 millimeter uh, auxiliary cable jack, which is basically the same thing, probably in and out. So you could attach headphones um, to this or if you wanted to plug in your phone, if you wanted to just use the speakers. Um, now I did actually run out today because I don't obviously have any vinyl to hand. But I did go to a charity shop and I picked up literally the cheapest record I could get just to show you guys how cool this little thing is. I'm yet to test it. Uh, like I say, I've only had it out of the box, but I haven't actually tested any vinyl on this. So let's give this a true unboxing. And we've got the plug. So as you can see, we've got a user manual or instruction manual, um, which is going to basically tell you everything you need to know about this, how to work it. Um, but we're going to see how we get on without this. And if we need it, we'll refer back to it. Very well packaged, I will say. Oh, we've got some nice, nice ports on there, guys. Open this thing up. It does say you can use this just for the speakers, which seem to be located on the front uh, of this suitcase. So let's take a little bit of a closer look to see exactly what we've got. So we've got a line in, which will be if you want to play your audio devices, so i.e., your phone, MP3, iPod, you plug it straight in there. Uh, line out, I suppose that's for external speaker sources as well as a headphone jack. And then you've got your 9 volt DC power socket. So I'm going to get this thing plugged into the mains. I'm going to run downstairs and I'm going to grab the record that I bought today. I don't know what kind of record it is. Uh, I've never heard of the guy nor seen the guy who's on the front cover. Um, but hey, we're going to find out what his music is all about in this review. We're just going to plug that in. This is what I got, guys. This is what <laughs> it's all I could afford. <laughs> Some of them were uh, going on 12, 13 quid. And uh, this one was 50p, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, I've no idea who he is. And I've, I've no idea what we are going to be in store for. Um, but hey, we're going to give it a go. So yeah, that, that movement, if you're unfamiliar, is the suspension. Uh, obviously, if it didn't have that, this thing's going to jump around. Now, if I'm mistreating this, please, no hate, guys. Um, I'm a 1990 kid, so all this is new to me. So we turn it on, and then we've got a couple of switches here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and then we've got speed. Setting one and two. All right, so let's just turn him off again. Just remove this. Um, take that out. Is that a needle cover? Yeah, there we go. Right, now when I see it on the movies, they kind of just walk over, walk over. <laughs> they kind of just bring it over and slowly set it down. Um, I've no idea. Let's see if this works. We'll leave it on the setting number one. Here we go. Oh, that is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna crank the volume up now. What? Jeez, this thing is loud. Let me see what the speed does as well, ready? Oh my God, what? Never, never <laughs> that is awesome. 
And again, you ready? <laughs> oh. Why would you, why would you, why would you require it to play that fast? So if you've got some of that vinyl lying around, you know, in your loft, in your basement, in your shed, this thing is absolutely awesome. All right, I am just gonna switch that off for a moment. Take that. I'm just gonna flip this around. Just cause I've always wanted to do it. As you can hear guys, this thing, uh, the sound quality is, I'd probably say about an eight out of 10. At that height, I did have it up full blast. And um, I mean, you can't really knock too many points off, but it is a little bit tinny. Although I am not knocking too many points off because I'm not 100% sure that this kind of um, way you would play music would be absolutely crystal clear. Um, if you was to compare it to a device that was um, current, i.e a boombox or a baseline sub or even an iphone right after looking in the instructional booklet i've just discovered the correct way you will uh, set the needle on the record so if i set that to go right we've got a little switch a little lever here and if we push that lever we can then set the the needle wherever we want it and then gently press down on here And then obviously when you're done, if you want to flip the record, push it again and it raises the arm. Then you can remove the needle without doing any damage to your record. Um, that I think is absolutely genius. Best thing about this, guys, is it's portable, and uh, I suppose that is this little housing. Yeah, so if I just take this record away. So that's it, guys. I mean, if you've got Christmas coming up, I think this is an absolutely amazing little present. I really do. Um, I'm made up with this. I think it's great, and I recommend anyone get one. The price isn't too bad either. I mean, originally when I saw these, I was thinking about £100 plus, and some people on Amazon uh, are actually currently selling them for £100 plus. Although if you do look about, you will find them cheaper. This one, for example, uh, is retailing for £42 uh, with the link that I'm going to put down below in the description. If you continue looking, you'll find them different variations of them from between £30 and £80. So this is a pretty, a pretty good price, to be fair. So the speakers are located here. We've got the little fastener buckle on the front. And it's just so retro, guys. It's just a really retro piece of kit. Um, it does honestly feel like really good quality. Let me just unplug it, just so I can spin it round for you guys. There we go. That's it. That is the vintage turntable. And I give that an eight out of 10. How fun was that to play with? Honestly, the vintage turntable, see the description below at least just check it out guys don't forget like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video